Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be knocking out a few things that was on my list. But before I get to that, uh, I got new light fixtures. These are from a company called Barina LEDs. They are super bright. I just wanted to show you guys how bright they are. They make my garage look way brighter. Uh, they are super lightweight too, so you don't have to do any crazy wiring. I just happen to have a plug adapter for the bulb socket for for each of them so I just uh, wired it up that way uh, but otherwise there's a couple different ways to wire these this is uh, the standard plug which is what I did or you can hardwire it to a switch and these two are adapters to connect them to each light housing um, I use these to connect three of them all together these are super bright uh, I highly recommend it. I'll post a link in the description below. So the two things that I'm knocking out today is the slow washer fluid reservoir leak that I've been having. I've already gone ahead and touched it up with some JB Weld first, but I'm gonna hit it again with another coat. And the second one is a dead petal from Genuine Saab. Uh, I wanted to wait until I get the pedals, but it's here, so I'm just going to install it. Let's get started. So, in order to remove your housing, first, you'll have to un, you have to unscrew, or you have to undo that uh, that handle part right there. You twist it counterclockwise, and that will release the neck from the actual housing. I took mine out already, but. There's going to be two T25 screws. Uh, one is here, and the other one is right there. So, and that screws up to this hole right here. So you'll need an extension to get it from this angle here. And then there's a hose for this connection here, and this is the pump. So there's going to be two hoses coming out of there and then an electrical connection there and that should be it so after you disconnect all of those you just kind of gently wiggle it out and it should come free i'm going to be using jb weld i've worked with this product before and it's been really good it's really good stuff and what i like about this is that it's um it's two part and the syringes are connected so you can't ever mess up the ratio I would recommend applying very generous amounts, so keep that in mind. All right, so that should do it. <laughs> that that looks pretty excessive, but from my experience, uh, the more you do it, the better, because it creates a stronger bond and there's less chance of fluid leaking out. So I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then we'll see what happens. I've actually tried a lot of different products. Uh, I tried flex tape, I've tried a couple other bonds, but this stuff seems to work the best. I'll report back to see what happens. And for the dead pedal, um, I actually don't know how this comes off, but can't be that hard, right? All right, so that just comes off like that. And for the new one, uh, it comes with nuts and a washer in the back. So that means I'm gonna have to get under the carpet. But man, the quality of this thing is so good. So you can get one of these at Genuine Saab. I'll have a link in the description below. All right, so I did a quick research online and there's a couple ways to do this, but as far as I can tell, there's only one right way to do it, which is to peel back the carpet and uh, screw in from the back. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I got the bottom panel off. Probably not necessary, but I wanted to take it out anyway. There is this part, like, 
in the fuse box that you have to undo the stripping here and uh, I found some rust so it's good that I peeled it back and found it um, so other than that it's just a one two three and four or five screws and it should come off so now I have enough clearance to screw the pedal all right so next I'm gonna take the nut and the washer out and then screw it in from the, behind the carpet I found these two rusted washers that's supposed to go on the original pet dead pedal um, man they're they're so rusted So under there, I have a 8mm socket holding the nut. And over here, I have an Allen wrench. And that should do the job. And before I forget, I'm going to do a quick rust repair here. Um, I like using these rust reformer stuff. Alright, here's everything back together, looking pretty good. I think this dead pedal is making my pedals look extra bad. <laughs> All this part is worn out, so I'm gonna have to get the pedals next. Uh, for my next project, I don't know if you guys saw, but I got new wheels. These are from a 2007 Saab 9.3. These are the anniversary edition, so they're not super rare, but they're not your average wheels. But I don't know how I feel about these. I still have my Vigan wheels, but they are pretty beat up. I'm gonna try repairing these, but I'm torn between these two. Let me know what you guys think looks better, these or the Vigan ones. Stay tuned for a rim repair video. I think that's it for today, so thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.